afternoon, dear friends, friends of Biafra, IPOB family members around the world, our friends, lovers of freedom, wherever you are this afternoon. My name is Nenaya Anya. I am from Ihe Chowa, Numaya province in Biafra land. And by the special grace of Tuku Kikabiyama, I am the head of finance of indigenous people of Biafra worldwide. Today, we all know what is going on in Biafra land. Our leader has been saying it all along that people to wake up that they will come now is here you don't need anybody to tell you again but i have one or two things to say first of all some of us are not on twitter I don't know if, but the reason why we decided not to be on Twitter. For Biafra restoration, if you are in freedom fighting, you have to be in everywhere that is important, where you can pass on your information. And that is on Twitter. We all should endeavor to open a Twitter account and follow our leader. Immediately when you open your Twitter account, you try to um, on it on notification. You add our leader. As soon as our leader tweets, you will get the notification and you retweet immediately. As soon as our leader tweet, we should retweet his uh, his um, his message within minutes. It should be going in thousands, not one thousand, two thousand, three thousand. What is that? We are busy following other people, whereas our leader is there, and we don't follow him. What is the essence? Before you start asking, I follow our leader. All his tweets and make sure that I retweet it. What is holding you? What is holding your friends? What is holding your neighbor? What is holding all the well wishes that we have? What is so difficult in that? Within a minute or two, you can retweet our leader message over 20. It will take you, it's just retweet, retweet. You click on retweet and off it goes. In freedom fight in any area you know that will make the whole thing move on fast that's what you do that includes the contribution evangelism and tweeting because that is the communication in the world now with that your message will get very far what is holding us coordinators to endeavor to please make sure that their members are on twitter we shouldn't we cannot allow people to tell us what to do we must tweet it's very very important please we shouldn't allow our leaders tweet uh, when our leader tweet it should only be three four five it should be in twenty thirty thousand that's what it should be we are more than that we should try and start for our leader Twitter account, not the fake one by the DSS, please. It's very, very important. That is number one. Number two, payment of our ESN, Eastern Security Network. We have but one account, and that account is our account in the USA, not any account in the USA, but our national account in the USA. That's where you make your payment, not to any other account. If anybody brings in any account that you are not sure of, ask questions, ask your coordinator, ask the finance department. We will try our best to help as much as we can. 
don't send your money to where it's not supposed to go because everybody is now busy opening an account that is very wrong very very wrong and when you make your payment endeavor to put as reference ESN so that they don't mistake it to be your monthly donation or other levies it's very very important for those of us in Europe when you make your payment in your zone you don't need to take it somewhere from your zone you remit it direct to our account in USA I repeat from your zone you pay it direct to our account in USA if you have a national account then you can deposit it in national account and from there to our USA account. Don't wait until everybody finish paying. We need every fund now. Don't wait, please. I've called you. Some people say they are waiting. Just remit what you have for now. Why you are waiting for other ones? Don't leave the funds that people have contributed because it's not your money. Please endeavor to re re remit it so that we can use it to do what is it was meant for. And now, for those of us in the United States of America, you pay it to your state and then they remit it to our national account. The reason being for accountability, so that we know those that have paid and so that others will not answer that their states have paid, when in actual sense, some of them have not paid. That's why it's very important. You pay in your zone and then the names will be taking down and then we transfer it to the national account in the USA. Now for those of us in the Southern Africa, if you reside in the Southern Africa region, you pay your own to our account in South Africa. I had Mazia Lozier announce it, I mean he called out the names, but I cannot do repeat it. Now please listen very, very attentively. The bank details Account name is IPOBSA. That is IPOB capital letter SA. That is South Africa. Then the account number is 628-358-18826. And your reference should be ESN. Write your name and then the reference. Then they have the bank uh, branch code is 250655 while the branch name is Century City. Sometimes they need the SWIFT code, sometimes the SWIFT code is not necessary, but in case the SWIFT code is needed, the SWIFT code is capital F, capital I, capital R, capital N, capital Z, capital A, capital J, capital J. And the bank name is First National Bank. And the country is South Africa. And I'm sure it has been posted in some forums. Please, if you are in Southern region, South Africa region, that is, you know where it, where it is, you just make your payment there. And then you can use it to do what is meant for. Now, there's one, a very important thing I want to say now. You know, we have been talking about freedom and cultural levy, also known as our defense fund. Now, we want to know those that have actually paid for it. And as a result, please listen very, very attentively. The, if you know that you've completed your payments, those of us that have completed the payments of our defense fund, also known as Freedom and Cultural Levy, and receipts has been issued out to you. The finance officer in the zone, now I'm talking of Europe, the finance officer in, this, in your respective zone should compile the names of those that paid. And it should be in this format. First, you write the name of the person that paid. 
full name please the date that is the year and the date of payment we need it the number three the receipt number and now the total amount paid the names of payee the date and year of payment the receipt number and the total amount paid if it is 350 it's single if it is 450 it's married you know how to write it now you compile it the finance officer who will compile it and hand it over to the to the co to the zonal coordinators the zonal coordinators we send it this should be in excel format or spreadsheet format i do not want any handwritten it should be typed out neatly you compile it and then you forward it to my email i'm going to file them in our finance department in germany we want to know those that have actually paid for their freedom and cultural levy because some have not paid now is the time we need to know those that are actually doing what they say now for those of us in the united kingdom they are divided into region the same will be submitted by the regional coordinator to my email in the, the other part of europe have already said it is through your zonal coordinator the finance officer will compile it and then comp compilation and then hand it over to the coordinator who will now the zonal coordinator please who will now send it to my email the same applies for africa and middle east in australia this will be submitted by the provisional coordinators the same applies to canada they will also be submitted by the provisional coordinators in the united states this will be submitted by the state coordinators to my email please note those of us in biafra land we do not pay freedom and cultural levy our leader approved it that way that we do, they don't pay it's only those of us in diaspora this is very very important because with the way things are now with the esn and everything we want to know those that have actually paid for it it's very very important i repeat the names of payee the date and the year of payments the receipt number and the total amount paid by the individual you compile it in excel format or a spreadsheet whichever way but not handwritten and then neatly place and send it to my email i will compile it you need to know those that are actually with us in this whole thing and for our monthly donations I commend all those that have been paying. Endeavor to be writing the names of your zones or your country and the month of course some people bring it forward not knowing that that I have a record even if you are owing for four months and you decide let's say for example you are owing September October November December and you make payment in January and you say it's January I will take you back to September because that's when you are only it cannot be for up from no that's the way it is this is the important announcement that I wanted to make with our freedom and cultural levy and we have until 19th of next month to submit this 19th of February that is the deadline to make this submission of our freedom and cultural levy. Thank you very much. Mazia Lozim. And for all those that have been that have paid for their free, uh, their Eastern Security Network donation, I commend all of you. Contact your friends, send them WhatsApp messages, 
tell them what is going on everybody knows what is going on encourage them let's encourage one another to do the right thing and i know we are going to restore biafra remember our leader in your prayers all the time for god's guidance and good health and i know we will restore biafra but we need to work hard the enemies are not sleeping therefore ipob and be our friends we cannot afford to sleep we are smarter than them but we need to work harder thank you very much is there anyone maybe a place you want me to clarify otherwise i think um, I'm not it's clear enough it's, it's clear enough you're very very clear on that i think everybody understands it thank you very much thank you Thank you.